Stewart and Jeff Beck. Rock the Saddle Dome, July 12th and 13th with Kick FM 107. And of course, Jack will return with more ideas on summer fun. Tomorrow, all about the sailor who fell in love with the mermaid. Yeah, they say it was an act of God. Hobie finishes with these fish stories. I'm running out of fish jokes. Johnny loves him. On kick. Kick FM 107 and the police, along with that Chilliwack and Springsteen with the tenants coming up. And don't forget, at 8 o'clock, we'll have another turntable for you tonight from Paulette Hayes out there on White Hill Place, Northeast. Or in White Hill Place Northeast. Living in a house on White Hill Place Northeast. Or something like that. Uh, Paulette gets herself a copy of the cars. And uh, she sent in a whole mess of stuff all about uh, summertime. And uh, songs about guys and cars. And uh, what goes on between those two. Okay, and we're going to be featuring some Queen, David Lindley, Minglewood Band, and Bruce Springsteen at that time. Cool breeze in the air under the hot, blowing sun. And you can really catch a buzz hanging out with the cool and the free. Or you can act like a monarch or a killer of the bourgeoisie. Anything you want to do, I'm never going to disagree. But I've got a point of view. Ah, uh, yes, it's a beautiful night. A cool breeze in the air. Under the hot, glowing... Bam 107 with Human League from the LP Hysteria and uh, the Lebanon. Coming up at 8 o'clock, don't forget, we'll have another turntable for you tonight from Paulette Hayes, who scores a copy of The Cars, Heartbeat City, for sending in some Queen, David Lindley, Minglewood, and Springsteen. We're back with Bob Seeger. I like sweet things, baby. I like you just fine. Certainly, Detroit City has produced many rock and rollers, probably none as great as Bob Seger. And uh, being from that area, he had quite a romance with the South, uh, at least uh, as far as recording goes. He uh, ended up in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, uh, the Muscle Shoals Studios in Sheffield, Alabama, more correctly, with uh, a number of uh, great talents down there recording several albums. It began in 1972 with the album back in 72, which was partially recorded down south in Alabama, and the romance continued on his next two efforts. Seven was recorded mostly in Nashville, Tennessee, and then in 1975, for Beautiful Loser, he went back to Muscle Shoals and joined his buddies for the release of this one. This is called Traveling Man from Beautiful Loser, Bob Seger on kick. Up with the sun. Hill Place Northeast, who gets a copy of the car's Heartbeat City because she sent in a set of music all about cars and guys and uh, the summer combination and implications thereof and she says the first song kind of explains the rest of the set we're going to be listening to some springsteen some minglewood some david lindley and some queen so uh if you've got a feel for your automobile if you're in love with your car if you like to hold a wheel and hear the gear, then you just might want to crank this sucker up. From their upcoming album, Condition Critical, this is Quiet Riots on Kick. And your dues, and done said goodbye to all you blues, then uh, it's time to light the fuse. The rock continues. David is in next. Some folks who are doing some cruising tonight. This is Van Halen from Diver Down. A little ditty called 107 Vials Down. 107 Vials to Go. That's tonight's turntable. It kind of throws you off there. Uh, missing a channel, but uh, I'll get on there right away and fix that up. Because, like, you know, it feels weird, especially if you have headphones on and somebody's talking on one side of your head. It just drives you crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, I know it does me. Anyway, that was tonight's turntable, and we'll fix that problem in just a moment, uh, featuring The Alarm, The Fix, U2, and Platinum Blonde. And for that, Pamela Jukes gets herself a copy of Thomas Dolby's The Flat Earth. Thank you very much, Pamela. I enjoyed it. 
Yeah, tomorrow night we have one from uh, reading this writing. It's pretty writing, but uh, I can't make out your name. Uh, we have a, an avid Bowie fan in store for you tomorrow night. It looks like Monique Liebert. I hope I got that right. If you're listening, Monique, you can give me a call. If, if that's a, your name, you can give me hell. Well, I'll go ahead. Uh, out there on Bracebridge, Crescent Southwest, Monique, I think, gets a copy of Slade's latest album. Keep your hands off my power supply for tomorrow night's turntable. If you want to get in on this, why don't you think about it? Write down some music that you would like to hear on the radio. Tell me why you want to hear it. You might have a theme in mind. It might be just some of your favorite tracks. Just get it down on paper. On a card or a letter, it's a turntable. Care of JOC, Box 500, 1324, 17th Ave Southwest, postal code T2TOC3. That'll do it, and I'll score you a good album off the top 20. Hey, doing JOC in with The Rock. We're going to go back to about 1975 because that's where our story begins. It was shortly after a major North American tour in the autumn of that year that one Peter Gabriel left a band called Genesis. And to the surprise of many, it was not the end of the band. Phil Collins stepped from behind the drums to assume the lead spot and did it, need I say, with remarkable self-confidence. And the result was Trick of the Tale in 1976. Genesis on King. Got a double shot of the stones to kick this one off. Starting with Happy from Exile. Kick FM. Kick FM 107 and Kick X from Vices in Heavy Metal Shuffle. Along with that, a double shot of stones. Got Missing Persons coming up from Los Angeles, California. Missing Persons. Life is so strange. It's no longer together, unfortunately. Uh, Kim Mitchell does have his band. has a, He's had one for a little while, a new band. And they're going to be in town very shortly, so uh, stay tuned for that during Stampede. It's going to be up at Frankie and Johnny's, so keep that in mind. Coming up later on tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll have a focus for you. And we're going to feature uh, Rod Stewart from his latest album, Camouflage. And at 11 o'clock, we'll have Fresh Cuts with Jamie. New music tonight from the Jackson's Box of Frogs. <laughs> Featuring some old Yardbirds members, and Jeff Beck even makes an appearance on it. Harlequin's long-awaited album is out. We'll hear that tonight, along with a new one from Glenn Fry of the Eagles, formerly, right? At 11 o'clock, Fresh Cuts with Jamie, and at 1 tonight, be listening for Between the Grooves with yours truly and Joe Jackson. Doing J-O-C in with The Rock for a Wednesday night, asking you, are you feeling the fire? Are you ready to explode? Are your dreams and desires riding down an open road? Are you feeling like a little twisted sister? We're not gonna take it. Kick FM 107 from the LP Born in the USA. Springsteen and Dancing in the Dark already underway with his first major tour in at least a couple of three years. Minus Steve Van Zandt. After 10 years, he's decided to split, and he's also touring with his own band, little Stephen and the Disciples. In his place, uh, Springsteen managed to get a fellow by the name of Nils Lofgren. If that show comes anywhere near this town, I think I'm going to see it. And you should think about it, too. Still, no word on any Western Canadian dates, but we'll be listening to the grapevine, so to speak. Right now, we've got another Stampede Report brought to you by... The North Center Inn and Work Warehouse. Your Stampede Report was brought to you by the North Center Inn and Work Warehouse. Keep listening for more. Kick FM 107 with Led Zeppelin. 